Hello, I'm Tracy. And I'm Travis. We're two Americans who just moved with our miniature husky to Moscow from our home in Texas to the city of Leiden, the Netherlands. We're not quite sure what the future holds for us, but we're excited to share our journey with you. This weekend we decided to come to Delft. We've come to Delft before very, very shortly. Yeah, very briefly. Maybe we were here about an hour. Um, maybe two, but yeah, we, we were mostly looked at some of the shops and things with my parents. Uh, this time, I think we're going to try and do a little bit more of the, the cultural stuff because it's a little bit more open now. Yeah. And uh, I think we may actually get to use our museum card for the first time. Yes, we're going to take our museum cards for a spin for the first time. Yeah. So, uh, we'll be heading to the Royal Delft Museum uh, pretty shortly, but first, breakfast. Breakfast. Let's go. Stop by a, a really cute little bakery. I did some research and let's see, Stadt's Bakery de Dine on uh, since 1796. Wow. Their selection of goodies, holy crap. Uh, yeah, it's very overwhelming. <laughs> we ended up with some of Tracy's favorite. I mean, is Tom Poos for breakfast dishing? It's probably not. It's yeah. probably really bad. Yeah, and some apple flap and cinnamon rolls and things like that. But it'll be good. And, uh, and then I think we have to have coffee. And I think let's, let's do the Royal Delft Museum. Yeah, um, but if you're in Delft and you haven't been here, I uh, highly recommend coming here. They have a waffle cheesecake. And they also have a cake that looks like the Delft Blue um, print. It's gorgeous. I wish I could take a whole cake home with us. Yeah, we'd have to walk a lot if we did that. <laughs> Breakfast was amazing, and uh, we're sitting here in front of a, a tile and weird-looking thing that I think is the map of the city. Yeah. And it's really, really cool looking. And uh, what did you think of breakfast? I thought it was delicious. I am convinced that the Dutch invented tampus to make you look silly while you eat it, because it definitely ended up in my hair and all over, but it was quite delicious. <laughs> Everything else is really good. Let's go get some coffee. Yes. and had coffee and uh, a juice at Keck. And that place, I think, is like Tracy's <laughs> little dream of a cafe. Yeah, it was uh, gorgeous. Super good. Uh, I had a golden milk turmeric latte. It was divine. Mm -hmm. Your salted caramel latte was really yummy looking. Mm -hmm. the, uh, the little bits of caramel on top were perfect. Yeah. I could eat probably about a thousand of those. <laughs> So we're going to go ahead and walk to Royal Duft right now and take that all in. All right, let's go. Let's go. to go into the Royal Delft Museum. Yes, we know it's a little bit touristy, but we figured it's probably something we need to do at least once. And we have the museum cart and secluded as part of it. Yeah. So masks on and let's go check it out.
that was pretty bite-sized. It's not a huge museum. And uh, it appears they're going under some type of construction right now, too. Mm -hmm. But very quiet yeah. for Saturday. And uh, free audio tours, which I appreciated. Um, the video that we did, the audio-visual experience, <laughs> was definitely kind of cool. It reminded me a little bit of what we saw at the Tabasco Museum. So it, it's got a little history and things going on, a little story to it. But it was... Uh, good little you know, maybe 45 minutes yeah um it really gives me a whole new appreciation to the craftsmanship of it and it is expensive we looked at the shop and some of the pieces there were twenty thousand euros or more <laughs> so obviously we won't be taking those home with us today but mm -hmm. uh overall it was a really nice experience um real small real bite size would be really good for you know a, a family to, to do for just a little bit of culture, but not too much. Yeah, so I was very happy with it. It's fun. Yeah, let's uh, head go. back towards the uh, center. Yeah, that sounds good. Last thing we're going to do for the day is go check out... Another museum? Ish, yeah. Because why not? Uh, we, uh, we're going to the place where Prince William of Orange? Wilhelm? Uh, uh, museum Prince, Prince Hoff. Prince Hoff, yeah. okay. And uh, supposedly you can go and see some of the, the cool spots in there, especially like where he was assassinated and the bullets that are right there, or the bullet holes and everything, so I'm excited to see that. Yeah. Definitely small though. Yeah, it was, I don't see spending more than a half hour, maybe an hour Probably there. Probably an hour, yeah. Um, but it was really quick. They, they did the audio tour just like the, the Royal Delft did. And uh, we have to learn a little bit about the history and see you know, the bullet holes. And <laughs> that was really cool. Um, and we got to, it really affirmed a lot of what we saw or what we read about in the mm -hmm. book, why mm -hmm. the Dutch are different. Um, so it was kind of neat to get a visual to what we've read, mm -hmm. um, which is really cool. Yeah. Um, definitely a quick little stop. I don't know if this would be something that I would come here specifically for, but we happen to have lunch across the street, and like, let's just pop in. And so uh, we did an online reservation, got it for 15 minutes later, and finished lunch and came over. This museum's cart is paying off in spades already. <laughs> and like with most of our trips, we've loosed back around towards the uh, train station so that we can head back on home. Yes. Uh, Delft was lovely. Very charming. I enjoyed the museums we saw today. I'd very much like to come back. We had planned on going to Newkirk and going up in the tower, but because it is just so windy here today, it was closed. So that will be on our list for next time. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts on Delft? Would you come back? I would move here. <laughs> I really liked it. But I think as a tourist, Delft is about maybe one day. Yeah. I don't think you need to spend more than a day here if you're just coming to see the sights. Um, even with that, going to the church and stuff like that, it's a little extra cost. So you have to pay even more to do some of that stuff. But I think it's worth it, especially if you can go up in the tower and get that picturesque view of the city. Mm -hmm. that and there's a lot totally of history of the Netherlands here. Oh, in incredible. Yeah, I can't wait till our next trip. <laughs> All right, let's head on back home and uh, see Tabasco. Thank you so much for watching. Please for don't forget to like, subscribe comment as always um, we love hearing your feedback we are embarking back to the states in a few weeks so let us know if there's anything in particular you'd like to see from our lives back home <laughs> yeah we got a couple ideas already yeah we're excited to share that all with you and as always like comment subscribe thank you all and bye bye